infiltration and inflow, it comes from um, water entering our sewer system. INI is definitely uh, one cause of SSO, so it's very important that we tackle this issue. During rain events, uh, there was uh, excessive flow that was entering the Highstown plant. Typically our flow is 3,500 to 4,000 gallons a day. When we had the problem, we were getting excess of 20,000 to 25,000 gallons for about three days in a row. We were tasked with trying to find out what was causing the, the infiltration. So we started off by doing um, tele televising the sewer segments. We didn't find anything. We also attempted to do some wearing, which is isolating the lines. Still didn't find anything. We then did some smoke testing. And what that consists of is blowing smoke through the sewer line, trying to find any leaks, cracks, uh, broken pipe. And we didn't find anything there. There's a lot of clear water coming in. The wet well would fill up very fast. The two pumps couldn't handle it. And we end up televising the service and against the flow towards the property. And we found the clean out that was leaking. Clean out is the capped vertical pipe that helps us gain access to the service lateral to do maintenance. We cleaned it out, put a plug in it, and backfilled it, sealed it up with cement. As chief plant operator, my biggest concern is maintaining the environment. This is another example of teamwork. All in a day's work. Probably 80 to 90 percent of the INI is coming from sewer laterals. Um, we can actually um, construct one continuous pipe that's leak free. So uh, that's the next step and we're gonna, we're actually started now in a number of areas in both counties for sewer rehab.